in the event that you would get a blockage in your capillary tube, it is going to be necessary to route a new heat exchanger through the cabinet and down the back since the original one is buried in the cabinet. Again, like the evaporator replacement, take your sharp knife, cut your sound shield off, get it rolled around out of your way, disconnect your limit thermostat, disconnect your defrost heaters, bring them up and out of your way, take a good pair of side cutters, reach up here and cut your suction line and cap tube off right where they come through the top of the refrigerator cabinet. Go ahead and remove your old evaporator. Transfer your defrost heater and your foam blocks from your old evaporator to the new one. At this point, we're going to have to drill a hole through our cabinet. You can actually drill anywhere in this area right here, from the middle of the diamond down to the bottom. It does not create a problem. All of your wiring is over on this side, so as long as you stay in this part right here, you're in good shape. Okay, we'll install our new heat exchanger through the hole that we drilled in the back of our cabinet. Slide it back till you get your evaporator completely in place. At this point, you're going to go ahead and reconnect up your limit switch. Reconnect your defrost heaters. Put your foam blocks back in between your coil and your line. And take your perma gum and seal your hole up back here. Perma gum is provided in your kit. So after you get this all in, take this, seal it off real good. Take another piece of it, and of course seal off the old line where it comes through the cabinet. Take some more of it. Get ourselves a good seal at this area. Okay, at this point, go ahead and slide the sheathing provided in the kit over top of your new heat exchanger. Do you get all the way up to the back of the cabinet? Again, take your perma gum and use it to make a seal in the opening hole in the back of the cabinet. Once you get that sealed up, go ahead and bend your line down against the back of your cabinet. To complete your heat exchanger installation, cut off the old heat exchanger where it comes out of the bottom of the cabinet. At this point, you're going to want to remove your dryer filter. On your heat exchanger, come in here, cut off the suction line coming out of the compressor. At about this point right here seems to be a pretty good place. Bring your new heat exchanger down to the back of your cabinet and route it around this way. Take your end of it and make your 90 degree bend so that we can make our connection into our compressor suction line. We'll be able to swedge our tubing out right here to make this connection. Now before you make your final connection, you do have a two piece cover that comes with your kit. This is going to cover up starting at the machine compartment. You're going to go straight up the back with the cover. Put the lip of the upper section 
right underneath the back of the cabinet. Make sure you get it squared up with your lower section. Push it over top of the lower section. And go ahead and install your screws. Now that you've got your cover on, go ahead and complete your connection of your suction line, the connection of your cap tube into your new dryer filter. You'll now be able to pump down and recharge your system.